Have you ever looked at a banana? I mean looked at it this way and that. You couldn't use it as a paintbrush or a pencil or a sock or a hat. Yeah, I know you can always eat it. I bet that's what you think they're all for. But I've been thinking about it. And I think there's a lot, lot more. Just imagine being at the seaside and seeing something on the water that floats. Look at its shape and try to imagine. Lots of bananas. There's bright yellow boats. Then suddenly, one of them sinks. What could you do? You'd be all on your own. I'm sure you'd run to get help. Look at this banana. It's shaped like a phone. The people in the sea would be rescued. They'd be jumping all over the place. They wouldn't be frowning or unhappy. There'd be a banana shaped smile on each face. And then in the evening you'd go home. After tea you'd go to your room. You'd look out of your window to see a banana shaped man in the moon. So next time you see a banana, don't just think it's boring and leave it alone. Stop and think before you eat it. See if you can make up a story of your own. What would it really like doing? Where could it live in its own special place? Imagine it with little arms and legs and a banana shaped smile on its banana shaped face. Why not try that yourself? Just choose something. Choose something ordinary. Something really familiar. Something you know about. A pair of shoes. A hat. An orange. A stone. A leaf. And look again. And try and imagine. What type of life might they have if they could live on their own? What type of adventures might they have? up to you. Imagination is the key.